I think uh, to me it's very clear that the three drug combination is the way to treat the patient who is newly diagnosed and I think it's also the way to treat the patient who has relapse disease. Uh, these studies uh, that I presented, the five studies, they all uh, compared three versus two drug combinations and they all targeted patients with one to three prior lines of therapy. So I think it's fair to say that they are early relapse studies and they all consistently show that if you have three drugs versus two drugs, that's beneficial. So coming back to your question, how do these new combinations with daratumumab velcade dex or daratumumab lenalidomide dex, how do they kind of fit in and do they potentially change the landscape? I think the answer is absolutely yes. Because at this point daratumumab is only approved as a single drug indication uh, and these studies are using three drug combinations and they show that three drugs are better than uh, one or two drugs. So I think uh, in a nutshell, if you do single drug daratumumab for a relapse patients, data suggests that maybe 30% of patients have a response or partial response or better. And if you add uh, the lanolidomide and dexamethasone, now we're talking 80%. So why would you not do that?